Hi, I'm Joe Flint, entertainment reporter for the Los Angeles Times, and here's what we're following today. Do you feel the excitement? Is there a chill in the air? Oprah Winfrey's channel is starting January 1st, and I know you're just sitting there dying to see it. The channel, which is being launched in partnership with Discovery Communications, will be available in about 85 million homes. Today, Tuesday, OWN reached a deal with Cablevision Systems in New York. That means rich people on the Hamptons will get to see the channel, as well as poor people in the Bronx and Brooklyn. OWN is going to face a lot of challenges. Although Winfrey is a PR master, they're trying to launch a whole network, not a couple of shows. Plus, it's taking a channel that used to be occupied by the Discovery Health Network, and it's on the lower end of the dial, so it'll be difficult to find. For the first couple of years, a lot of cable operators will be paying very little or nothing for the channel. After a few years, though, Oprah and Discovery hope to get as much as 20 to 30 cents a subscriber for the network. Most of the shows are reality-based or talk shows, all with themes of empowerment and positive messages, primarily to women and families. There are some shows about improving your sex life, improving your financial life, and even a show featuring Tatum O'Neill and her father. But the challenge for all this will be that while empowering programs sounds nice and positive, usually it's tawdry that scores in the ratings. For Winfrey to transfer her success on daytime TV to cable, she'll need to bring a lot of her audience there and probably need to spice it up a little bit to keep the people intrigued and the advertisers selling out the dollars. I wouldn't look for this channel to do huge numbers right out of the box, but Winfrey's too smart to not get the knack of it within a year or two, and then we'll see if Owen can really challenge Bravo, Lifetime, Oxygen, and the other channel networks aimed at women.